Joining me right now, as he has so often since this conflict began, former New York Congressman and now President of the Albanian American Civic League, Joseph Diaguardi. Thanks for coming in. You were shaking your head uh, at that piece well, of information. <clears throat> it's absolutely ridiculous. You know, I was listening to the ambassador, and, uh, you know, he may be a good man, uh, but like most good communists, they are brainwashed. And for him to say that Milosevic is democratically elected when under his system, the information is totally controlled. Remember what Thomas Jefferson said many years ago, information is the currency of democracy. When people don't get information or they get the wrong information, almost anybody can be elected. And here the good Serbian people have been poisoned by a system that controls the media just the way Hitler controlled the media in Nazi Germany and you have now a war criminal running the country and the ambassador is trying to sell us on the basis that he's a uh, democratically elected that's nonsense and what do you make of this no journalists uh, allowed in with NATO troops and they have to get their visas from Belgrade it's it's totally uh, ridiculous and what it tells me is that it's worse than we can imagine. It's probably going to be a repeat, although nothing will ever match the Holocaust and the concentration camps. You remember the shock that we saw when we walked in? I think that they're trying to prepare us for the shock that we're going to see when we see hundreds and hundreds of villages torched. There are now reports coming out that they've, cremated, uh, they've cre created crematoria uh, in the Trepska mines. The bodies are being burned. I mean, they're trying to clean up their acts so they can go back to the table and uh, try to make some kind of a deal here. There is no deal. Mr. Milosevic has lost. And I believe, and all Albanians believe, that it should be an unconditional surrender. We shouldn't be dealing with a war criminal. Uh, he should be now accepting our terms, and I hope that the bombing intensifies until these generals realize that they have lost and that they have, they have, they have to pay the price for the brutality that we've witnessed, not only in the last two years. Don't forget this aggression started in 1989 when Milosevic walked into Kosovo with tanks and took away their autonomy. Back to the journalists for a moment. You think the horrors are going to be so bad it would turn world opinion against the Serbs like, like nothing else in well, this campaign? Kathy, world opinion has already turned against the Serbs, but what we're going to see but is something that really, we're not we've prepared heard stories, to see. We've heard stories, yes. but what we always have to say is these cannot be independently confirmed. We right. must say that as journalists, I but if we go in as journalists, we will know and what we can And you've been prevented report. from going into Kosovo. You've been prevented from walking around Belgrade even. Uh, that has been said by all the, uh, the news media. Uh, we have to now prepare ourselves for mentally and emotionally for something that we, were, we have not yet thought we, we didn't think we'd see since World War II because you're going to see you think it'll wanton be destruction you're going to see not only houses burned but we're going to see indications of mass graves we already know they're there we've seen them from the air uh, that's why the court acted and it perhaps, wasn't easy for the court to and act perhaps under these we'll see them as as witnesses to also the refugees returning to their homes which has been destroyed and we will also probably have pictures of, of them returning to their homes well, and their towns for the first time which are let, probably let's hope, devastated. but don't forget that's what this is all about to get the refugees back okay. they're not going to return until they know that NATO's in control and that all the Serbs are out they need that kind of security thank you so much for coming in again we really appreciate your contributions thank you. Okay.